Hi everybody, it's Elliot here, one of the podiatrists from East Coast Podiatry in Singapore, and today I'm joined with Elise from Tomasic Junior College, who's going to be asking me questions on diabetic foot. Hi Elliot, thank you for doing this interview with me. So, for my first question, I would like to ask, what demographic do your patients with diabetic peripheral neuropathy? normally belong to. So just for the people at home, diabetic neuropathy, it can either be a loss of sensation or it can actually be an increased sensation uh, within the nerves in the foot. Some of the signs and symptoms are complete numbness at the foot, people don't feel anything, and then some of the other ones can be tingling, burning, shooting sensations that are very abnormal and sporadic. In terms of the demographic, I'd say primarily 40 years and above, one of the predisposing factors will be genetics as well. So for a lot of people, they'll have the mum or dad or the grandparents were diabetic, it will put them at risk of being diabetic as well. So for my second question, what were the most severe symptoms or effects of peripheral neuropathy in patients that you have encountered? So, in the UK, when I was working with the NHS, there was one guy that went on holiday to the Philippines and was walking barefoot on the sand. And obviously, it's the summertime, sand is red hot. It burnt a hole right through his foot. He didn't feel it until he got back to his hotel room. These are some of the effects because, as I've mentioned in my other videos, pain is such an important tool the body has. And if you don't have that, these sort of things can happen. That sounds really painful. Yeah. Are you of the opinion that poor lifestyle choices, such as unhealthy diet, can affect the severity of peripheral neuropathy and its effects? If you are, then what would you believe is the most ideal lifestyle to have? Yeah, for sure. Poor diet is one of the key contributing factors to peripheral neuropathy. I've had patients that have come in, we've done diabetic foot checks, and they're on the cusp of literally no sensation, and then you get them to change their diet, and their symptoms start to revert back. The ideal situation for all these patients is you've got to be under a multidisciplinary team, making sure you're under an endocrinologist so that your medications are in check. You're seeing a vascular consultant as well, because in other videos that I've done, they all talk about how important your vascular supply is. Dietitian as well. You need to be under somebody that knows what they're talking about, because certain carbs you may not be able to have, like white rice is terrible for diabetics. And then also a podiatrist to be able to look after the actual foot health. So ideal lifestyle is you're under all these professionals. In your opinion, what are currently the most effective measures and treatments to combat the effects of peripheral neuropathy? Mm. So, in my opinion, it is medication, diet and exercise. We do have treatment that we use for some diabetic neuropathic patients, but the gold standard for all of them is medication so that they can then store glucose effectively. Diet so that they're not eating too many carbs and their sugars are spiking. And then obviously exercise so that they're getting the body to regulate all of this food that's going into the system. So for me, those are the most effective ways of looking after your diabetes. Okay guys, thank you Elise for coming down from Tomasic Junior college i hope you found that very educational and i hope everybody at home found that educational as well please like and uh, leave some comments below and if you or anybody you know has diabetes or a foot related condition please go and see a podiatrist for some foot advice take care thank you for watching if you find our podiatry videos informative please like and share them with someone who might find them useful if you need to contact us or find one of our clinics go ahead and take a screenshot now to subscribe, you can click this button over here. See you in the next video.